Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jen. I'm Chase. And we're here with another Razzmatang video. Today we are going to be making a copycat recipe of Disney's Magical Star Cocktail. And this drink is found in the Coral Reef Restaurant. So maybe let's just spend a moment to talk a little bit about the Coral Reef Restaurant because it is one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite too. The atmosphere, I think, is what sets it apart. It's located in Epcot and it's over by the aquarium. And actually when you go in and sit at your table, you can view the aquarium while you are eating. So there's sharks and turtles and all kinds of fish. And they give you little placemats that like help you identify all the fish. So it's a very awesome yeah. Uh, experience. Yeah, the room, like she said, it lets you sit by the, the tank walls. Like it's an absolutely, it's a big room. There are some tables that are up like two seaters across from each other, like that are right up against the walls. I think there's some booths, but overall, like everywhere you sit in the room, even if you have to sit as far away as possible, it's lifted up a little bit. So you can kind of see like these windows that are the tank walls and see some amazing fish it's it's super cool it's it's hands down i think it's one of the, the coolest experiences to be able to sit there because it's nice and dark inside and so the the light casts from the, the blue water through the windows is it's very awesome yeah, it is dark in there which is why this particular drink is often found there because it comes with a glow cube and to make this drink you do need a souvenir glow cube so when you turn it on if you can see it changes color and it goes in your drink. It goes in, yeah. So, so today's recipe will be uh, like a copycat of that. So I'll let Jennifer tell you about that. So we've got pineapple juice. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna have two ounces of Malibu coconut rum. The third ingredient is one that I had never heard of and was actually a little difficult to find. It is X-rated fusion liqueur. And it is a vodka drink that has um, passion fruit, mango, blood orange, a whole mix of different things in it. Yeah. So this is what's gonna give us our yummy flavor. I think I will say it is a little bit more on the expensive side. It was around $24 for this particular bottle. Yeah, 750 mLs so. for the size. Um, we're gonna be using a martini glass in the restaurant. They have like a stemless version of this or like a highball glass. We don't have one of those. So we're going to compromise and um, come up with something that's it's similar, same shape. Same shape. Same shape as the others. So first thing we're gonna put our rum in there and it's two ounces of this. Now we go into our X-rated. X-rated. And this is also two ounces of this. Cork up though. There you go. What's it smell like? Fruit. Smell like fruit? That does smell like fruit. How much of this goes in there? Two ounces. Two ounces as well. So, so far we're up to four ounces. And then the rest Total. is just pineapple juice. Is it, so it's, is it pineapple juice to taste? Or no. is there a measurement? It's just finished with pineapple juice depending on your glass size. So the, I will say with this, there's like, um, you can make champagne cocktails and things, so I don't think it'll go to waste. You can also make lemonades, like a fruity passion fruit lemonade. Oh, like a, like a pink lemonade kind of? Yeah. I don't know if that's what they add to lemonade to make it pink, passion fruit juice, but I think that that would be a good, a good mix. And so this is just some regular Dole. Dole pineapple juice. Dole brand. And it's, you said finish it, you just fill the cup up. And then we have our little straw, so I'm just gonna stir it with this. Chase got this drink, I didn't, it was almost embarrassing at first because it came out and it was like yeah. super magical, but then everybody has it, so. I'll say when, when it came out and they were bringing it, I was actually kind of like, I hope that that's someone else's drink or something and it's not, that it's not mine because it was so bright. So flashy, so glittery. It was so sparkly. flashy and glittery. Let me turn off the light here, see y'all. So it's some magical star cocktail. Look at it, you see it glowing through there and everything. And it makes all different colors. Have you had it when you were at Disney? I didn't. I'm gonna actually try it right now. Mmm. It's actually really good. Is it? It's never too early for a magical star Disney cocktail. Never. Let me let me give it let me give it a try here. Give it a whirl. Mix it up. Can you see me? Hi. I think that's almost exactly like what I can remember it tasting like. Not the best memory, but I think that's it. That was good. 
So if you would like to see more copycat recipes, do leave a comment below on what ones you'd like to see. I think that we will be maybe next weekend taking on the back scratcher from the Polynesian. So definitely favorite. tune in to see that. So until next time. Until next time. Stay, stay magical. magical. Bye. Bye.